my name is Funke and this is Funke Says, where I give you great tips on planning your wedding and more. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you about how to look fabulous on your day. There are many, many ways that you can look fabulous from your skin to your diet, from your hair to your makeup. But I'm going to be focusing on makeup and hair today. You're going to be running around, hugging people, taking pictures, and you want to look like a million bucks and more. So there are a few tips on how to do this. Now for your makeup, you need to source for various makeup artists, especially professional makeup artists. You want to make sure that you are comfortable with the makeup artist as well. You have to have an idea of what you want for the day. Have a trial. Go and see the makeup artist and take possible clothes that you'll be wearing on the day. Your traditional outfit or your wedding dress. Even the colors of what you're going to be wearing on the day to be good to go with it to your trial. Tell the makeup artist what you want. What kind of look are you going in for? Is it something nude? Do you want to have bold colors? Or do you just want to look very simple? Some people want to look very different and some want to look the same and just a better version of themselves. Let your makeup artist know. To make your skin look good, to make it look very healthy and feel healthy, you need to drink loads and loads of water. I don't like drinking water, so I better take my own advice. But it's very good that you drink loads of water. You eat, you eat healthily. And of course, watch your diet. When you want to have facials, have facials months and weeks before. Some people make the mistake of having a facial three days before, then they break out. No, 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 I won't recommend that. Have a facial a few weeks, a few months before to know if you're going to be able to, you're going to break out on that day or just before. It's very, very important. It helps your skin glow. It helps you rejuvenate. And it also awakens all the dead cells on your face. Now, for your hair. Hair styling is very important. The same thing I would say, look for good hairstylists, professional hairstylists. You will have a picture of what kind of look you want to have. It's good to look at styles that complement your face. You may have a round face, you may have a square face, you may have a diamond shaped face. It could even be over. Your style needs to complement your face. Take a picture of it, even your hair extensions. There's so many people now that even do natural hairstyles. Your hair may be natural. You have, there are many hairstylists that actually can help you um, come up with styles for your natural hair. Also consider your tiara and your veil or the hairpiece or accessory you're going to wear. It's very important because whatever hairstyle you choose must complement and must even be able to hold the, whatever accessory you're putting on your hair. Have a test run with the hairstylist and then decide with the hairstylist when are you going to style your hair? Is it going to be a day before? Is it going to be in the morning or is it going to be in the evening? It's very important. Which also now brings me to the day or just the day before. You need to relax. You need to sleep early. You need not be stressed. A lot of us, a lot of the brides, a lot of people I come across always want to do something the day before. I would advise that you sleep early and just allow yourself to enjoy the moment. The day passes by very, very fast. In the morning of your big day, it will be advisable that you wake up early so you have enough time for pictures. A lot of us like pictures because pictures create memories for us. You don't want them rushing. You don't want your mom and your dad rushing you out of the house. You want to look great. You want to feel relaxed. You don't want to be stressed. And you want to have enough time for pictures. Let me know what you all think about this topic and other topics. Via my social media page, at, on Instagram, it's Funke Buckner. And also, you can send me an email at funkesays at funkebuckner.com. <music>